Since Bethesda news hasn't been coming particularly hard or fast recently, a lot of people have taken up to be speculating about Elder Scrolls 6. Now as it sounds, we know nothing about the release date, the setting, or basically anything, but I wanted to talk a little bit about something which is the closest we have to any sort of hint or actual confirmation of anything. Now through article hopping and, you know, video watching and all that sort of stuff, I actually discovered that recently Bethesda actually took out a patent for the word Argonia. Now you may have seen this image floating around the internet recently, in fact if you search the Elder Scrolls 6 that one does show up as one of the first images, so I originally just wrote it off as, you know, a fan made thing, something that some fans done, um, you know, I've seen a lot of those of people who are doing Saw 8 posters, although Saw 8 has been announced now, keep an eye out for that. But you know, people do them all the time for new card games, they'll do new Fallout games, all that sort of stuff, so I thought it was just, just one of those, you know, just like a fan made little bonus thing, whether it just be for fun, or just to look at it and see what the idea would be like, or whether it would be actually trying to trick people into believing it, people just do these, you know, it's just a thing that exists. But now that I've read that Bethesda has actually patented this word, it leads me to believe that maybe there's more to this than we do think. Now I do still believe that this is just a fan made image, because even if it was leaked and it wasn't just posted by Bethesda, it doesn't look hugely professional and I don't think that they'd sort of make this just as, well I don't see why they'd make it anyway when it doesn't look sort of that official, if they were going to make the logo they'd probably make it look a little bit better than that, if you compare it to the, the Elder Scrolls logo, it just it does seem like it could have been made by a fan as opposed to someone who is doing this professionally for Bethesda, so I do think that it was still made by a fan, but to be honest, they've patented this word, now this could mean this could mean a whole host of things. First of all, if they've only just patented this now, it means that it hasn't been something that's been hugely used before. Maybe the word's been used in uh, previous Elder Scrolls games, but if they have actually taken the effort to patent it, then it means that they're going to be putting a lot of work into it. Um, now, if you look over the past, I don't, I believe they haven't patented things like you know Akavir, Daedra, that sort of stuff, and these have already been big parts. So, but they did have to take out a patent for things like Skyrim and Oblivion. Um, or in the context of Elder Scrolls at least. So the fact that they've actually gone out of the way to make sure that they have this word secured suggests that this is not only quite important to them and to the next project, but that they're going to be using it in quite a big context. So what would this imply? Well, it may lead us to believe that it's going to be Ar Argonian focused, seeing as though the word is Argonia, uh, that the game is going to be Argonian focused. Um, now the Argonians did come from the Black Marsh world, so that could imply that maybe the next game is going to be set in the Black Marsh. I know a lot of people are talking at the moment about where it's going to be set. Uh, people are seeing, oh, I'd, I'd like it to be set in, you know, elsewhere. I'd like it to be set in Valen Ward, all that sort of stuff. Well, um, the Argonians do come from the Black Marsh, so maybe it'll be set in the Black Marsh, uh, and that'll be the main area. But I did actually also want to talk about the possibility that this is all a joke. Now, people could take this patent, they could go, oh yeah, if they're actually patenting it, then it must be serious, like I just said, um, or, you know, they haven't set a game in Black Marsh before, so that seems like a reasonable thing to, not necessarily assume, but a reasonable thing, like, if they did that, it would make sense, because they haven't been there before, so beyond, obviously, online and arena, but, you know, going there would be reasonable, they haven't been there before, so that'd work. Um, but the thing is, honestly, for me personally, it, it genuinely would not surprise me if Todd Howard or the Bethesda team on the whole, I guess, was doing this, not necessarily as a joke, but as like a bit of a ruse, because they're the sort of people they like to they like to play with, those they like to joke around, uh, they like to hint stuff and rumor stuff and all that sort of stuff. So it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they sort of just dropped this as like a sort of little like message, not necessarily message, but a thing for someone to find, um, so that people would start speculating to build up rumors, maybe even as a bit of an advertising ploy, so that people start to get hyped up about Elder Scrolls 6, thinking that something's about to be coming, and then if slash when they do eventually announce it, it has absolutely nothing to do with Argonia, maybe it's Khajiitia and it's set in, set in elsewhere and it's about the Khajiit or, you know, something like that, it genuinely just would not surprise me at all if they just never mentioned Argonia at all. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to suggest that possibility, just in case that's something which people will be like, oh yeah, maybe that's true, I don't know guys. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, I want to keep it nice and short and sweet, mainly because there isn't really that much to talk about, but I don't know, I wanted to do a video because I remember seeing the Argonia image a couple months ago, and just not thinking anything of it at all, but now that I found out that they have patented that work, it, it sort of like completely rearranged all my thoughts on the whole situation um, with regards to Argonia and just Elder Scrolls 6 in general, so... Yeah, but as far as things stand, I'm not going to start thinking, oh, it must be based around Argodians. I'm going to keep speculating in the same way that I currently am. I'm going to continue my, now that I'm back from holiday, I'm going to continue my wishlist series. Because um, I made my video that was like the perfect Elder Scrolls 6, and it was like my main point. So I'm going to start going, I said in that video, I'll, I'll do a, a series going into more specifics about certain things. So I'm going to start talking more specifically about the places and the cities, and I'll do a video talking about quests and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing those, then be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't already. Other than that, if you haven't joined this 
this video I would really appreciate a like it's probably the easiest and quickest way you can support the channel um, and it does really help me out so other than that mine's Renee thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace peace guys <laughs>